What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today we're going to cover the latest weekly update which states some interesting things and I mean like seriously fucking interesting but also a little fucking disgusting but before we get into the video if you guys do enjoy it leaving a like is much much appreciated so let's get into this shit okay so the post starts as follows this week at Bungie we're waging our usual battle in playtest Last week we launched Hotfix 2.5.0.2 which contained some impactful changes to the Destiny sandbox. Since then Guardians have expressed a renewed fondness for their primary weapon choices. The special weapon ammo economy also saw some major alterations and players are adjusting to a new crucible where death carries a much higher price. It has been a little over one week since these new changes took effect and we're still monitoring feedback from around the community. One thing we have been hearing a lot of is sidearms. A lot of the feedback around sidearms has pointed out their unique ability to hoard special ammo when other weapons are running dry. Senior designer Josh Hamrick has a few preliminary plans to address this in the future. He also has some ideas for making Memory of Scurry a little less impactful in Trials of Osiris without neglecting its benefits in PvE. Quoting Josh Hamrick right here, and I am back again in the spirit of open and honest communication. I wanted to show up and talk about a couple of changes we're beginning to test now. Before I do, I have to state that these changes could see some iteration before they make it to you. The important thing to know is that this iteration could change the details or even, through its unlikely, entirely kill them. More than likely, they'll ship, and probably as is, but we'd like to clear that up just in case. Now the goods. Sidearms. In a not entirely shocking development, the sidearm meta has grown strong. With its innate ability to not only keep ammo through death, but it also actually stores it away. It's the ultimate gift for anyone who's always running out. For now, we are currently working on a change that would allow sidearms to continue to spawn with a small set amount of ammo post death, but keep them from stacking anything extra. They'll be handy if you run into resistance on your way to the ammo crate, but to keep your sidearm usage high, you'll still need to stock up often. Memory of Scurry This artifact has led to some of the greatest dance parties I have ever attended in Destiny. That being said, aside from encouraging these sort of team building events, the artifact itself tends to inspire a more lackadaisical approach to gameplay. Instead of continuing to encourage you to hurry up and wait on a super, we are looking at modifying Scurry to motivate some activity. The change currently in testing requires a kill to jumpstart Scurry's unique ability for the next minute. Once it times out, you'll need another kill to jumpstart it again. We believe you won't have any problems killing one enemy every 60 seconds for maximum uptime in PvE, but trials may offer a greater challenge. The Truth While I think Truth's strength is its unique ability to find its target, clearly having more rockets is always better and losing a loaded rocket is understandably a heavy loss to many players. To make this a little bit easier to deal with, we are looking into adding one additional rocket into your backpack and bumping truth to the match rocket launcher reload speed. The No Land Beyond Much like the recent rise of sidearms, the NLB is showing up more and more. Ultimately, we would never want to destroy the NLB's exoticness, meaning we would never move it from a primary slot or change it from being a sniper. On the contrary, we have found a potential workaround for making NLB flinch like the sniper rifle it is. This one will require a good amount of testing, but we think it's a good change. Keep your shooting clean and your still pop heads like nothing's ever changed. But falling behind in a head to head primary fight will likely be a death sentence. Blink. As you know we've nerfed Blink a few times over the years. While we're happy with the latest changes, we believe that the stack of nerfs has grown too high. To counter this, we are looking into removing the old recovery nerf entirely. Additionally, we're looking at pulling back the time that you're hoodless by just a bit. So some crazy changes coming to be honest and I've got the update in front of me as I'm reading from it. The truth in my opinion was nerfed too hard and them adding an extra rocket 
I mean, that makes sense. That's the way it should have been. They should have took two rockets off in the first place. Two is where the truth should be. Now, we all know the problems with the memory of Scoria artifacts. I mean, a lot of people don't want it to change, but to be honest, it needs to be changed. I think what they're doing or what they're trying to achieve is the right step. Sidearms as well. I mean, in my opinion, PvP now is overrun with sidearms like it was shotguns before. It's like it's pretty good that they're taking it into account straight away and trying to fix it. And I think the changes they talk about in this post are pretty good. But the way sidearms are, I think they're going to be still a beast of a weapon to choose. So I agree on these changes coming to sidearms, I really do. Now the no land beyond, my favourite weapon in this entire fucking game. And like I said on Twitter a few days back, if they ever nerf the no land beyond, I will take my disc out of my console and I will cut that thing in half, forcing me to go and buy another one. Am I going to go to that extent? I don't think I will. I mean, to be honest, the NLB's flinch, well, the flinch it didn't have when being shot using the sniper rifle as it is a sniper rifle, I think it does need a little bit of flinch, to be honest, I'm not going to lie, and I love using this weapon. And that's basically it for the changes I talked about doing within the latest weekly update. Some good news, though, is Iron Banner is coming back, and it begins Tuesday, February 28th, 10 a.m. Pacific. This is about 6 p.m. UK time, and obviously ends a week later. The game mode this time around landing with Iron Banner is supremacy. But without shotguns being rampant in PvP, uh, I don't know how this one's going to be to be honest. I can't wait as well. Weapons you can get are the sniper rifle and the hand cannons. Obviously these are end of game or what the Iron Banner vendor will be selling. Armour we have the helmet and the leg armours which you can see on screen now. And that is it guys for another weekly update. Do let me know what you think about the changes coming to the weapons in that comment section. I mean the one I find disgusting is the No Land Beyond but in truth it's needed it really is. But guys hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about the changes coming soon. Thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stay